Okay, now we talk about concentration. So concentration, there are many ways for us to express concentration. First is actually we can express the concentration in terms of molar concentration. So here, in order for us to express the molar concentration is counted is calculated as the moles of component per unit volume of solution. Okay, that is the concentration in terms of molar concentration. When we talk about molarity, is actually the molar concentration in units mole per liter. Okay, so it's the same as molar concentration, but it is always in terms of the units mole per liter. So, uh, because molar concentration itself, it can has different kind of unit. Okay, such as mole per meter cube, mole per centimeter cube, and so on. But here in molarity we always represent it as mole per liter and we use the symbol capital M for example like 10.5 M solution of uh, lithium bromium in water so that is what we call as molarity another way of expressing the concentration is we use mass concentration mass concentration means the mass of component per unit volume of solution okay so we, we, we actually sort of putting the mass um, of the component and we divide it by the total volume of the whole solution. Okay, so that is mass concentration. And then we have molality, which is most of component, okay, per unit mass of solvent in units mole per kilogram. Right. So what does it mean here is you have certain kind of component which is in the solvent. Okay, so for example, like a very small component of, um, of small components of A divided by the whole solvent, like you have a solvent inside, the, the large portion of it is a solvent, but then you want to know the molality of it. So you can calculate the most of component divided by those mass of solvent, and you can give the units as mole per kilogram, or you know it as mole, yeah, mole, mole, mole per kilogram. Another way of calculating the concentration is by using parts per million or parts per billion. It can be parts per billion as well, which is moles or mass of component per million moles of mass of the mixture. Like you want to know the particulates or impurities in the air. So you have, you be able to calculate the part per million like 2 ppm. Okay, which means that Two num two, the, the, the moles of impurities is 2 divided by 100 million of moles or mass unit of the mixture. Okay, um, like we always use to calculate the um, air pollution index, okay, the haze that usually annually comes to us. So we can always express the impurities as part per millions. The higher it is, then the worse the condition it is, right?